We'll have to wait. Say that one more time right on camera, please. I mean that how there's lots of things I can shove in my mouth tonight, but the sandwich will have to wait. You okay there? Anyway, so tonight we have another great game with Mason and Mr. He likes sausages in his mouth. Myself. I sausages. <laughs> okay, penises, whatever. It and doesn't have to be those either. Testicles? It can be literally anything. You never know. This is the internet. Rule 34 has applied. Yep. Anyway, we're crossing over those facts. Um, and, well, myself and my beautiful, sexy voice. So tonight we have a quick, quickie, it's a thousand point game of my Astro Martillum with support from Amanda and her two spooky assassins versus Mason and his Dark Mechanicus. That's not Dark Mechanicus. Yes, it's it. It's the Deimos Forger, which is allied with the Grey Knights. Still sounds spooky. Anyway, so, um, deployment. These are part of the Inquisition, motherfucker. Yeah, LOL. Anyway, so deployment. It's long way, and Mason is this side, I have this side. The twist is acid rain, focus, there we go. And then the prize is the objective, and that big cube right there is the prize. Because why not, right? Exactly. And so starting off with my army while Mason is playing with the dice in his hand. Yeah, anyway. So, um, starting over here. I got us from Atelum. It's my flock proof guard, and I was trained by the Cadian, so I have the Cadian regiment thing, my Bob. Um, I got Pasker right here. He's in a demolisher this time around. He's got a plasma cannons on the side. He's got a demolisher cannon, duh. Lava cannon, track guards, and a heavy sub on top. He is not my warlord. But the company commander, this boy right here, with the big fist of doom. He is, and he has Krimos Aquala as his relic. His roll trait is the five up, I get a command point back. And he's got a power fist to fist Mason and a plasma pistol. Then I got a Calma Sword right here running with a Sandra Power Sword um, bolt pistol. Then for my elites, as my camera wants not to focus, I got a Tech Priest. I got an armored sentinel right here with the last cannon. And I got two chimeras, uh, both with track arcs and heavy subs. And each one there is an infantry squad with a rocket launcher, grenade launcher, Uno, Dos. Then I got a squad of infantry with a grenade launcher and heavy bolter running around on foot. And because of mana is new to 40k, um, I have gave her the two Collexus Assassins to play with, or as Mason and I calls them, the Caitlin Jennings. Yes, and uh, my fat butt will get off the table. I mean, off the seat. Yep. So, what do you have, Mason? All right, first off, we'll start with the HQs. I know it's not in any particular order the way it's off here, but this one's the Warlord, the one with the flat hat, and the orange on those. He has doop, the macro stub, it's basically a little submachine gun. Of course, he's got an axe, he's got a Volkite Blaster, which are normal. He is the Warlord. He'll have Necromechanic. That is basically when my Warlord tries to repair a friendly model, that model regains an additional wound. And with if it's an Admech vehicle, he's already doing it on uh, D3. And because of the, if I can actually pronounce this properly, the Ak Auto can... Decus of Arcan Land. Basically, a relic heals. He he heals an additional wound. In addition, when the bearer uses the ability to repair in a friendly ad mech only vehicle, uh, I can reroll the dice to determine how many wounds are regained. Ah, oh, fun. So, kind of nice, right? Yeah. So that'll help me with keep the Onagar Dune Crawlers alive, which are going to be a little bit more than necessary to uh, kill off that Lehman Russ, because that's really what kills me in every single game. I'm not sorry. No, you're not. <laughs> you're not at all. Okay. Now I have three Cataphron Destroyers. All of them have the Heavy Grav Cannon and Phosphor Blaster. Then continuing on... And that's the Flamers, right? No. The... That would be... The, it would be a Flamer. This basically is... 
it's AP minus one. I forget the strength off my head, but all phosphor weapons ignore cover. Okay. So that'll help me out a little bit. I'll go on to the Rangers since that's the next on my list here. Uh, the Alpha will be this guy. He's got magnetized at arms, but he's just got the galvanic rifle. We have an enhanced dad to tether in order to help boost leadership. And on top of that, there's a stratagem where if you're that basically I can improve uh, to hit rolls, depending on which type of uh, dad tether they have. I'll get into that later. It's an cable activate. Basically. Anyway, also two transonic arquebuses and a arc rifle. Arc rifles basically get bonus damage to vehicles only. All right. Okay. Let's see. Then going on to the Vanguard because I'm still trying shit out. Uh, where is he at? Oh, here we go. The guy with his gun way up, way up over here in the corner. He is this guy here. He is the Alpha. This is a U. I got this via used bin, so I can't actually model too much. But he's got an arc mall and an arc pistol. Otherwise, enhanced data tether on the guy behind him. He'll always be behind him. Okay. Blech. Actually, no. We'll make it the guy with the uh, broken here. No, I, I can't do that. Yeah, it'll, it will be that. Okay, so I'll try to keep them separate. Anyway, otherwise, arc rifle, two plasma cavaliers, one here and here. And then the rest of them just got the regular uh, radium carbines, which are eh, pros and cons to them. Anyway, going on to the big guys. I'm going to go our dune crawlers. They all have the mounted Cognus Heavy Stubber. Basically, Cognus weapons overwatch at normal ballistic skill. But otherwise, just a normal heavy stubber. Uh, neutron laser with another Cognus heavy, heavy stubber. And they have the Broad Spectrum Data Tether, which basically is another, essentially does the same thing as this guy down here. But I'll get more in detail later on because I'm still learning this army and I need to constantly look through the book. Fun. So, is that it, Mason? Yep. Well, let's go float our little plus army oh, man. Uh, what? Before I forget, dogmas. Uh, for this one, I'm going to try to go Mars just to see, experiment with all the different canticles. Basically, Mars, I normally I only get one canticle per turn. This one I get two. Well, you know so, what? Screw you. Yeah, I'll try it out. Yeah, why not? Well, let's start pouring this off on the table then. Okay. Well, the setup is complete. My mind is now numb because of Mason. Thank you. Uh, I tell that to you. True that. Okay, so Mason, he set up all of his shit first, so he so gets... I get plus one to the roll-off, but you have a tendency to steal even if you win this. A plus one, I won, but let's but see. But let's see here. Iron cross me, baby. <gasps> nope. Ah, oh, damn. Okay. For once, I actually get to go first. Well, Mason, this good luck. Good luck, dude. Well, Mason was very lazy, and he actually did not move anything at all. Yeah. Uh, apparently, but, this is how guard play, I hear. Really? After how many years are playing against me? I know, right? Uh, but uh, what? Well, I did move these guys up a little bit to make sure that they have slightly better coverage, since they only have 30-inch range weapons, so they won't really be able to get much done. However... Uh, these can more than reach across the board. And uh, so can these big guns. No so, shit, really. I know, right? I, I thought it was astounding. Anyway, let's start with the But before we forget, what are, the t what are your testicles? I mean, tentacles. My tentacles, I rolled a one and a two, which basically, uh, I reroll filled morale. Yay, for this turn, which is probably going to be more important once uh, if he survives. If. He will survive. Yep. And let me the Electromancer. So basically you get within an inch of me, and on the six, you're rolling uh, D3 more rewards on yourself. Have fun. Yes, because the guard are going to get so close to you. Fix bayonets. LOL. <laughs> it's a Titan. Fix bayonets. Yeah, true it's the size of a sky... Larger than a skyscraper. <laughs> By the way, man is new to this, and she looks so confused of like, what the heck are these boys talking about? What are these morons doing? Anyway, uh, let's see, we're going to start with the, I just had it over, uh, the neutron, neutron lasers. 
We'll start with this guy shooting in the Lehman Russ, because why not? He has heavy D3 shots. Get a and one, get a one, get a one, get a one. presence nearby, he will be re-rolling ones to hit. Okay. So first D3 shots. One. Uh, he hits on a three up, re-rolling one. Get a two, get a two, get a two, get a two. He hits. Okay. Uh, strength 10. So it'll be a three up. Yep. Yep. Womp, womp, uh, womp. Yeah, I need to kill him, so I'll use a command point to re-roll. Roll, get a free command point. I will. Right. Thank you, Mason. You're welcome. Oh, by the way, do you need to roll another dice to see because of her assassins? Uh, can you roll that one real quick? This one for you? Yeah. I mean, you roll. It's your assassins. Yep, so I'll take an extra. Yeah, so, so basically, five, just to tell you, three. your assassins are right now and behind his enemy lines, causing lots of confusion and chaos. Yeah, it's actually taking more resources for him. Because I'm, I'm back there somewhere. Yeah, scary. Little, 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 yeah. Anyway, uh, re-rolling. Now that's actually two command points rather than one. Mm -hmm. Whee! I still need three up. Okay, so that does wound. Okay. So... AP? Uh, AP is minus four. Okay, I'm in cover and everything, so... Uh, you're not obscured. Not by a long shot. Eh, fuck. But three up goes to a seven. Damn it, I got a six. So you are hurting. You'll take a minimum of three damage. Okay. But it's D6. One. So you take three automatically. Oh, he's three? Okay. Yep. There's rolls a one or two are both made by this weapon. Treat damage rolls as one or two as three instead. Right, can you toss me the other one? Yeah. Oh, it's not that bad. Wait, man, I thought I would be getting yeah. like yeah. nine points of damage on me. That'd be that'd be pretty much the yeah. That's what I want, but that's not what's happening. Anyway, this one, um, this one, yeah. From here, I can barely see it, but so you will get covered, which means yeah, you'll get a six up. Yeah. So a number of shots, and he is also right by one. Number of shots is three. Okay. Uh, wee. Two failures and a hit. So, the see if it wounds. It wounds. Okay. You got a six. One iron cross. Oh, so close. You had it the last time. I will fucking take that. Damage. Four. Four. Four points. Yep. So that would be a total of seven. I know I have a D10. That's not that bad. I can... Seven off out of what? Was it like 18? Oh, fuck. I wish. 12. Oh, okay. So he's got five left. Okay. Yeah, but I can heal myself pretty quickly. Oh, yeah, because he can do what? D3 or something like Tech that? Tech can do D3 points health. And I got Gilry Rugging. For one command point, I get one point of health back automatically. Okay. Well, then let's see what these guys can do. Because why not, right? Let's see. Make sure I get this correct. Let's see, iridium carbine, hydraulic claw. Okay, here we go. Transonic Archibus. All right, these are both one shot each. They'll be hitting on threes. Okay. Strength seven, so your toughness eight, right? Mm-hmm. So they'll be hitting, wounding on fives. They'll be minus two damage. Uh, let's see, sorry, minus two AP. D3 damage, and sixes will inflict a mortal wound because it's a sniper rifle. Okay. So let's see if I can even hit you first. First shot. Fail, fail, fail. Went off the table. You failed. First shot. <laughs> Hits. Okay. Second shot. Hits. Okay. I need five to wound. Mm -hmm. One success, one, one failure. Let's Minus see. two. I don't know what that is. Oh. Yeah, that's. How many points you said? That's D3 damage. Sixes will actually cause a mortal wound. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Did I? Was that a six? No, that was a two. No, there, no, when I went to wound. Did I roll a six or no? No, they didn't. There was a roll to hit, it was a six. Okay, so it's just like, so it's just two fives? No, they got, five and a, no, they got one wound. Is it, was it a five or a six? Because I required a five up. I only got one five. Okay. Whee! Uh, that's three damage. Three damage? Okay. So, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten points of damage mm -hmm. in one turn. Not bad. A lot better than what most armies have had done. All right, so yeah, that's gonna have to be. I uh, see. Obviously, I'm not gonna assault anything. That's the whole turn. Yeah, that's my turn. Oh, easy. Well, Mason hurt my demolisher, but I did get three points of health back because of gear rigging and um, attack priest. Now, oops, that's something else here. If I had, if you were not able to heal that much, would you be at the bottom bracket or no? I would be at the bottom bracket, yes. Ah, oh, damn it. But, um. Oh, oh that was weird. Yeah, my, so my order given to me. Pass gave the order to basically, I can reroll the number of shocks with my demolisher cannon, but my demolisher cannon has no range for anything, so doesn't really matter. Oh, you mean kind of like my uh, Electromancer litany? Yeah. <laughs> so, starting off, um, opening shot. Well, I was getting from the signal, and to that, doing crawl the road over there. Oh, uh, this one? Yes. Okay. So, four up to hit. He hits. And you said the acid ring was. Yes, any wounds. Minus three. Minus three? Is he, does he have, a, is he obscured or no? He is not. Okay, so three up, and you said it's minus? Three. So six up. Welcome okay. back. So I'm going to use its five up invulnerable save. Okay. Ah, fuck, I should have placed them closer together. If I had them closer together, I'd be able to reroll once for, on the invul saves. Ha. Uh. But, hey, I got five up invul, I'll take it. Yeah, it wouldn't have mattered. Okay. Right, so it goes through. How much damage? Two points. Oh, it's D6. Okay. Yeah. Two points of damage. Out so of how many? Um, 11, uh, 10, 9. Okay. Nine left. So, yep. Okay. Um, in that case, I'm going to go with Mr. Pask over here. He's going to shoot his final mechanics overcharged into that. This damage. SLB right here. What? Are you sure you don't want to put it into the damage one? Yeah, I'm going to do it into the damage one. So I'm going to shoot everything. Except the heavy starb. The heavy starb is going to go and try to shoot these SOBs right here. And for those of you at home, I recommend this one because one, it's damaged. Two, that one would get a cover save. Yeah, that too. So first off, uh, let's go with the American 50 KL into your little... Oh, you want to put the small shots in him and the big shots yeah. in him. Okay. Yeah. So I have one hit. And? Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Oh, well. Um, so it now... heavy starb anyway. Yeah. So last cannon now. Glasgow and Hicks. Oh, yeah. Any wounds? Go uh, America. Minus three? Minus three. And this was against... Same guy. Oh, that guy or this guy? That guy. Okay. The Dune Crawler. And you said I don't get any cover. Correct. Uh, so that would be uh, five up and Mm-hmm. No. Come on, America. Show me that star again. Oh, my God. <laughs> Mark America. of the Beast. Fuck yeah. So now two positive cannons overcharged for the number of shots. At the same target? Yes. Okay. Let's go with. Oh, that's stunned. Do you want a command point? No, I want a command point just in case if I hurt myself. Okay. So, three, two shots, yeah. Roll all ones. I will kill you <laughs> in your sleep. <laughs> command point, this one. Okay, well, still oh, a miss, but. But you got one hit. Um, we roll to see if I get the command point still. Oh, see. So I don't. Okay. Yeah. Right, but you well, got one hit. One hit, and it will be a throw up to wound. Uh, oh, yeah, because you. Minus three, so I'll give it a five up and roll will save. Damn Two it, damage. That's one I could have rerolled. Um, hmm. Uh, it's important, but it's what? What's the damage? Straight two. I'll just take it. How many wounds do you have left? From four to dos. Okay, I'm gonna do this on uh, this Camille right here. He's gonna shoot his Laz gunnies into them. Okay. He's gonna shoot his heavy sub. Into him. Oh, into the uh, Dune Crawler? No, into these guys. The, okay, yeah. the Vanguard. Yeah. Then he's gonna. Then I'm gonna go and shoot the heavy bolter and heavy, heavy bolter and multi laser into the wounded drone Dune Crawler. Okay. So first off, multi laser. <laughs> one hit. Nothing. Heavy bolt. the important one. Heavy bolter. Wow. Four hits. Oh. Three hits. Does well. And one wound, minus one. Uh, one minus one, so he goes from three to a four. Mm-hmm. Whee! You lucky bastard. Okay, heavy sub uh, to the ground pounders. One? One hit. Oh, wait, don't, you're Acadian. Don't you get to reroll the one? If I stay in place. Okay. One wound. 
Uh, AP is minus one, right? No, AP is zero. Oh, yeah, that's right. This is the last yeah. one. Okay, so I'm in cover, so that puts me back to a four up. Mm -hmm. That's gone off the table. I'm not going to count it. What's well, that? Okay. Yep, the one that went off the table. <laughs> well, okay, now the wild's going into them. Okay. Uh, it's not that bad. Four wounds. No AP. Four, no AP, so three ups. Uh, two die, can you remove the... No. Ah. The guys, the two riflemen closest to the... Uh, Doom crawler? Yeah. And Actually, so no. Let's kill that guy and... How about you pick him off yourself, so I won't be... Yeah, because I still want to maintain a distance to this dude. Dude. Eh. I'm knocking him over my own shit. He's dead! He's dead! I knocked him over! He's dead! Call your hicks. How much calling your own hicks? Um, that heavy bolter over there is gonna shoot into these guys right here. Okay. Heavy bolter, you said, right? Yes. Uh, let's see, let me roll over there. And I get two hicks. Uh, toughness five. So fours and one wound at minus one. One at minus one. Uh, so that brings them <coughs> back to their normal four. <coughs> Woo! Man, allergies. For those of you at home, yes, I know I have the chest armor and the side armor of the breachers, but I just like the look of it better. All right, so I need four up. He said just one, right? Yeah. Womp, womp, womp. Womp, womp. All right, so one of them takes a wound. Yep. Um, that does? Absolutely it, nothing. Pretty much. Because <laughs> they have three wounds apiece. Okay, so the green chimera over there, he's going to shoot everything into them. Into these guys? Yeah. Okay. Um, no, actually, I'm going to do this. I'm going to shoot the heavy bolt from multi laser into the dune crawler. Do I have line of sight? You have line of sight. You can see the main part here very easily in the leg. I'm scored yes for now. I'll let you decide because I can't really. I think it's more of a 50 50. Oh. I can't tell. I think it's one of those roll off kind of deals. Oh no. I got it. Okay, so multi laser heavy bolter into the Dune Crawler and, and Laws Guns into okay, him. So important shit first. Motor laser, you can do it. Nope. No! Heavy bolter! You did it! Will you do something? Nope. God bless it. <laughs> Heavy stubber! Go America! America. And this you. Is against these guys? I, uh, Doom crawler. No, that was the heavy bolting heavy bolty multi laser. And the others, Yeah, which. So a lot of guns will be against them. Yeah, okay. Okay, so it is these guys. Okay. Yeah. Uh, AP zero. They're normally four up. They're in cover, so three up. Mm hmm. One pass, one fail. Okay. Then Laws Guns. Let's see where it is. And one hit. And one wound. Aww. One dead? Yeah. Please give them some more check. Hell no. Ah, fugs. They're battle servers. They don't care. They're mindless. <laughs> hmm. Okay, well, Mason, let's well, do this. And besides, that's only one third of them. That's not. That's when they have leadership seven. You killed one. <laughs> so, what are the rain next turn? No. Okay. Zero uh, sunny skies. Tentacles, real quick. Uh, what is that for? So I will be able to reroll morale checks again, just in case. Okay. And uh, shroud Psalm. Effective units gain the bonus to armor saves as if they were in cover. So okay. units already in cover are already affected, so you can find them in the fucking open, including these guys. Okay. Anyway, and then let me take a look at... Well, you do that, and I'm going to stop this. <laughs> no. Never. <laughs> what was that sound again? Now that we've absolutely destroyed her mind... <laughs> oh, no, my mind's been destroyed for years. Okay, we're good then. Yeah. All right, let's shoot the wounded in the middle bracket. Well, well, well so tell us maybe what he did first before you shoot. Okay. I advanced uh, my leader, Warlord, over here. I moved the Dune Strider, or Dune Stock, or whatever the fuck it is, Onagar, Onagar Dune Crawler over a little bit, because they do not suffer penalties for moving and firing heavy weapons. Okay. So why not? Because he's Warlord, Warlord, normally I'd just be like, okay, with this guy, but he has that ability for, hey, plus one and re roll. But I ended up rolling a two on the D3 repairs, even with the re roll. I like that. I don't. So, but at the very least, he's not at his bottom bracket anymore. He went back up to his middle, kind of like yours. 
But anyway, uh, let's see. He's dead. Yeah, that's really all the moving. Oh, no, I shuffled. Did I shuffle these guys over this turn or last turn? That was last turn. Anyway, uh, continuing on. Boop. Let's get this going. First off, uh, shooting the wounded at him. Or, sorry, him. At him? That green bastard. Yes. Okay. Uh, Rerolling ones for this guy and okay. the guy been near, being nearby, but they don't stack, unfortunately. D3 number of shots. Two, two. shots. D2 two twos. Nope, worse, but rerolling ones. Aww. Yes! Uh, the healthy one, then? Doing the same. Well, actually, let's continue on with this guy. Now that there's actually things in range, which is kind of weird for me right now. So, let's make sure. 36 inch range. Uh, yeah, these things are both in range of that. Okay. So let's actually shoot those. Okay. Uh, let's see, how many shots is a Cognus Heavy Stubber? Three. Three shots for a Stubber, so we'll just shoot them both, same target. Whee! Hey, that one actually worked quite well. Where was that for hitting with the big gun? Because our big guns suck. Eh, wow. One. Okay, watch this, watch this. <gasps> Oh my sweet over goodness. It did a damage to the rabbit. Not the rabbit. The rabbit can die. Clink. All right, let's shoot his neutron laser at Mr. Greeny back there. Okay. And the uh, Cognos Heavy Stubbers at the rabbit again. Okay. Because kill the rabbit, kill the rabbit. No. Yes. D3 shots at the Mr. Greeny that I hate. Mm. I'm going to use command point on that one. Dang it, I'll get a command point. Whee! Number of shots is actually three now. Sweet. I can actually go with that. Let's see, so all three hits. Okay. And let's see, a uh, strength 10, so I need... Threes. Three more. Minus four. So he'll be dead. Uh, he might pull out. Oh yeah, it'd be nine damage. Because he's got five wounds left. Does he go boom? Wait, actually, hold on. Roll it out just in case, because maybe they might get like really shitty. Because it's, is it D3 or is it? It's D6 minimum three damage. <laughs> so he doesn't go boom. No. Okay. Oh well, we'll also tank, but I can still win. Oh yeah, he's just a main threat. Now you just gotta play for objectives rather than actually killing me outright. I still kill you all right. Anyway, uh, the heavy cognis heavy stubber shooting at the rabbit. Okay. Doop, doop. Uh, one. One. Because strength four against toughness. Yep, I'm good. Yeah, I figured as much. Okay. Um. <laughs> the next big part. You know what? <sighs> hey, yeah, that's all within thirty inches. Oh, well, that's within twenty-four. Okay. So, here comes the fun part. Uh, these two guns will shoot at the Sentinel. Okay. And then everything else will shoot at that douche nugget. Okay. So, the two big guns first. Okay. Because why not? Transarch or Archivist. That's sweet. Oh. Nice. And they're not within range. So, and then we'll do this guy separate because he's got the arc rifle. And to whom? Everything else is into the rabbit. Okay. So, it's a strength six, rapid fire 24 inches, AP minus one, D3 damage against vehicles. Okay. Aww. Ha ha. And then how many uh, rifles do I have left alive there? Should be four or five? One, two, three, four. Four? Okay. Womp, womp, womp. And then strength four, uh, six is our, uh, eight. Six is our AP minus one. Okay. Nothing. I tried. I really did. And then let's shoot their heavy grab cannons at the rabbit, because I want to kill the rabbit. Let's see, double check here. Let's see, heavy grab cannon. Each of them are heavy five shots, strength five, AP minus three. If you have a character save characteristic of three or better, the damage becomes D3. I don't have, oh yeah, never mind. Do you have three or better? It's a freaking tank, what do you think? Hey, some of them are fours, but True. they're usually Eldar. Anyway, five shots per. You play against this one so many times, you should know all this stuff. Okay, I'm usually getting pounded in the ground and I don't have a chance to even shoot back. True dad. 
So we'll do one of these guys at a time because, well, I want to use these dice. See? And they actually hit on fours. Okay, so three kicks. And strength five. So that's one so far. Okay. AP minus three. And then I'll just get the other one going here. Nothing. And? Ooh, good thing I get to reroll ones because they're actually within the distance. Okay. Oh, you already made the one, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. Okay. At AP, did you do it at AP minus three? Yeah. I got a four. AP minus three, you're normally three, that'd make a six. Yeah, and I'm saying I didn't make it, I mean. Oh, I thought you said you did make it. Like, wait a second, what? All right, so one more, AP minus tricks. Go America! Goddamn America. So I need to roll two D3 for damage. Whee! Six damage. Okay. Oh, then what, I got... Damn. Yeah, they're not within range, so. Oh well. Uh, that's gonna have to be my shooting for this turn. Any psychic? I mean, any assaults? <laughs> no. Okay, well, I guess it's our turn. So, Amanda had to leave because she works in a hospital and she had to do nurse stuff. Um, but we still have Mason, well, duh, and myself. Turning the assassin to face them. Yes, and that's for me right off my screen. There we go. Oh no! Might help. Yeah, well, I mean, Because uh, people love seeing your shirt. They don't seem all pretty faces. Anyway, so, um, the guards were actually out here, um, got out of the Chimera. Chimera got healed up. I used jerry rigging, and I did keep my command point. Thank God. Um, How many do you have left? I have eight. Oh. Fuck, yeah. Anyway, um, so I got eight points of health left from my Chimera, so not that bad. Um, the assassin popped out four inches. Assassin popped out eight inches. So, that's that. We are going to do the shooting phase right now. So, start off over here with this squad. I have a feeling I'm going to need more dice. <laughs> the ro crack rocket is going to shoot at him. Grenade launch is going to shoot a crack grenade at him, too. Wild guns, they are rapid firing into. Ah, uh, technology. I dropped my phone on the table. Anyway, I. You know what, man? I need to get this new fucking um, camera tripod. The old one broke, so. Yeah, well, it, was, it wasn't very good to begin with, so. Yeah, but anyway, um, so I don't know if it went through or not, but Amanda, she had to go to work, sadly, because she works in the hospital. Um, yay, nurses. And um, so I took care of the assassins. This assassin popped up four inches. Spooky. And that one popped out eight inches. Stabby, stabby. Exactly. These guardsmen, they popped, they got out of the Chimera. Um, the console lord is staying inside. Um, tech priest healed it up. Jerry rigging also healed it up. Uh, oh, your, uh, your pistols that are on these guys, do they ignore invuls as well? Yes, they cause mortal wounds. Okay. So. Uh, let's see. Anyway, I'm going to go and shoot the formal shooting phase. Crack rocket from the squad into the damaged... Dune Walker, Grey Longford, same target. Right. Wild guns. Um, everybody except these two bad guys can rapid fire into this squad right here. Due to my canticles, everybody gets the bonus for bonus on their saves for being in cover. Whatever. Whether or not they are. Crack rocket. Doesn't hit anyone. Do you want a command point or do you want to wait for that? I want to fucking um, reroll that just in case. Okay. So God dang it! Well, yeah. do I get that command point back though? No. No. So oh whatever. You want a seven. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, so the next thing is I'm going to shoot a grenade launcher into them. Oh, this is into the yeah. Catafrons, right? Or the... No, the grenade launcher was into this guy, into the Dune Walker. Oh, okay. And that was it. I got a five nail. My God, that's not cool. Anyway, I need a five or higher. There AP we go. He is... Uh, minus one. Minus one, which counters the... So it's three up. So, yeah, normal three up. Bink. Good. Dang. Um, then we had um, a total of 2, 4, 6, 8, Who do we 10, 11, 12, 13 wild well, going trucks into those SOB. So that is 4, 6. I'm going to roll this just twice. Okay. Uh, minus one dice. Here. So here's 7 dice. I don't get the reroll because I didn't move. So 2 hits so far. 2 hits. I'll mark that here. And the other hits. Next two, three, four, five. five so, so five hits total. When you on 
fours, I'm guessing. Uh, toughness three. Yep, so it'll be three wounds. Three? Yep. All right, I am in cover, both realistically and canticles wise. All right, and so I get uh, three up because they're no AP. Yep. All good. Okay. Um, in that case, I'm going to shoot the um, Chimera. Is there a laser heavy bolter at the same target as before? And heavy subber into the wounded zoom crawler. The Lyle's guns, because they're still pass through inside and he can shoot, he's going to shoot into these guys. Aww, it's like you don't like that Doom Crawler or something. I wonder why. Um, anyway, so Lyle's guns. Look at him that destroyed shit. Wow, look at that. All his for the Lyle's guns. And this was into the uh, regular squad, right? Yeah. Fuck! How many? Six. Hey, that's all this stuff. <laughs> so I should fail two. I failed one. Just one of these guys? Um, let's take from the back. Okay. Um, so now heavy bolt sword into oh, no I forgot, I forgot to paint black on the edges of their bolt laser into the dune crawler. Sure. I stay in place, so I reroll that one. So three hex and, and toughness seven, right? Yeah. So, so one wound, no AP. One no AP, so um, three up. Okay. No. Two it's up. Normally three, so two. Hey. Dang. Um, next one is gonna be the heavy bolt sword. Reroll that because I'm Canadian. One hit, nothing, and heavy sub. This is also what we're doing. Okay. Yep, nothing, okay. Then in that case, I'm gonna shoot the um, Alba Chimera. I'm gonna shoot the Wild Guns into these guys. Uh, the Cataphrons? Yes. Destroyers? Okay. Then I'm gonna shoot everything else into the Doom Crawler. Aww. So multi laser, all hicks, one, one wound, no AP. And this was at? Doom Crawler. Okay, and this is the only thing at the Doom Crawler, right? Uh, the, so far, yes. Good. Heavy Bolt Sword. Oh, thank God I can get that reroll. And thank God I got two hits. Um, thank God I got no wounds. Um, heavy yeah. Sub. One two hit. hits. Oh, two hits. Yeah. Yep. And two wounds. Two wounds? And no AP. Stubbers, no AP. I'm good. Damn. And then the six Lyle's guns into these guys. Little, oh, two little, six little Lasguns. Yeah. Wow, that's actually not that bad. The Lasguns actually, Las actually do work. Yeah. Um, no wounds, though. Okay. Um, Sitnal. Do you well, just want to shoot at the wounded? Yeah. Try to wipe him out? Oh, fuck yeah. He hits. Does he wound? Oh. Uh, use the command. Yeah. Shoot. Do you have anything else I can offer you real? He stayed in place. Yeah, but that was only for hits. Not for wounds. Oh. Okay. Yeah, so, um, heavy bolt through over there. So, next squad is going to shoot into these guys. Actually, yeah, see, about the range for 36 inches, right? Yeah. You can shoot catafrons. Yeah, catafrons, screw it, why not? One hit and one wound. Uh, against the toughness five? Yep. Okay, uh, let's see, AP is minus one, so I go back to my four up. Yep. Womp, womp, womp. Finally, we got a damn one. And that's one damage. Well, I'm use one of these other dice here. I like the red ones for them. Because red and gold kind of goes with Admech, right? It does. So now for this assassin with her um, Mind Shredder gun. Yay, Mind Shredders! One shot? Yes. No, it's actually a miss. Now, question. Oh, uh, one question. Let me see if it's an automatic hit or not. If Shredder remembers on the vehicles. So I missed. That sucks. Oh well. Uh, this one? Yep. Um, same thing into them. One enhanced god tether. God bless it. Okay. Assassins are failures right now. Yeah, so... Um, well, uh, question is, do I try to go after them to try to save my ass later on? Or do I try to ignore them, let them do their damage their work later on? Either I'm screwed now or I'm screwed later because I need to try to make sure he doesn't get out the objective. But at the same time, I can't let these guys survive. Well, on that note, I'm going to go and assault them and them. Okay. Uh, let's see. How many rifles do I have regular? One, two, three, four. And then this guy. Five. So five. I'll shoot them first. Uh, let's see. Five, sixes. Oh, wait. A rapid firing. Yeah. So that's the first of them. Uh, I get one hit so far. Okay. So we'll put that to the side. Okay. And then there's the uh, arc rifle, rapid mm -hmm. firing. 
one hit. Okay. So I gotta keep these separate. And then the two uh, transonic arquebuses uh, both miss. Okay. So the strength six, AP minus one. Okay. Wounds. From one wound, okay. Four for normal save. God damn it, okay. And then the strength four, sixes, uh, will do AP minus one, but I don't think it really matters. Four for normal save. Eh. Hey! Wow. Overwatch watch just two wounds to him, okay. Yeah, that sucks. Um, and your charge range is? Four inches? Yeah, barely. That should get you in there? Yeah, because I got in four inches, so yeah. Okay. So, boop. Hi. Then over there with that assassin. Okay, hold on, wait a minute. Put a little love in it. Okay, so. The thing is, how many guys actually have line of sight to me now? Let's see. Uh, doo -doo -doo. So I got one arc rifle, one, two, three, four. No, because he, yeah, so I got four, one arc rifle, four of the rad carbines, and he's got the pistol. Okay. That arc pistol, not the red. So first things first, uh, with the rad carbine, six is to wound, deal two damage. Okay. But I got three shots with each. One, two, Three, and I said four, right? Mm hmm Okay. And the arc rifle will be this sucker. Okay. And the arc pistol. Because it's the same thing, basically. Yeah. Which, it's not D3 damage because you're, he's obviously not a vehicle. Yeah. Hitting on sixes because of Overwatch. One. Wow, that sucked. Thank God. I should have gotten a lot more with that many shots. But hey, oh well. Right? Yeah. And then to wound, uh, strength three, so five. Yep. Five, six is being two damage. Nope. Okay. And... Uh, fail, fail. Cocked. Cocked. I know what it is. Oh, it was a nine. Uh, it landed on the model. So. Yeah. What is it? I got a one. I'm going to use a command point to re-roll that. I need a seven. Uh, yeah, you need to. Yeah, you do. Yeah, so I'm going to go and use a command point and re-roll that. That gets you. Yep. Do you I get a command point back? I do not. No. Okay. So let's see. The charge range you said was seven. Yep. That gets you with an inch, which is all that matters. I got to roll him a little bit so you can... Do you have any normal saves at all? Uh, actually, it's an inch to go up, isn't it? No. Or is it just you just go through? Okay. You just go through terrain regardless of yep. how high. Yeah. <laughs> high. <laughs> Alright, uh, you will be minus one toughness for being within one inch of vanguard units. And I will pile in here. Okay. Because, well, let's face it, I kind of want to get... So, do you have an invulnerable save at all? Uh, six up invul. Because of bionics. That's a regular save. Uh, regular save is a four. Okay, I'm using a phase sword against you. AP minus three, and you do not get any invulnerable saves at all. Eep. Shit, shit. Uh, crops just falling, so we're just gonna. So, five dice, two ups to hit. Let me set these guys. And. It's very wobbly model syndrome. Damn it. One miss. Out of how many do you have? Four out of five hits. Okay. And a threes. So three are basically dead. Okay. Let's kill off. See, you don't have the broad spectrum data tether. You do not have the enhanced data tether. And you do not have the enhanced data tether. Okay. So that leaves me with, let's see, he's within an inch. Or someone's within an inch. So these dice will be the arc mall. Okay. Let's see. Then one, two, three, four, five. Three, four, five attacks. So these are the normal guys. These are the Arc Maul. Because the Arc Maul is plus two strength. Yes. Yeah. The AP is not going to matter against you. So, But it, yeah, this does some extra damage. AP I, minus four or so. I mean, I have a four no, normal save. the damage characteristic of the Maul. Oh. Which it looks like it won't really matter too much. Because they're fours to hit in combat. 
You know, they're two better hits. shooters than they are in close combat. Oh, yeah. Uh, at least one of them is the Maul. That's yeah. the Maul is going to be strength 5 against toughness 3. Okay. And so it'll be the threes. other is, so 3, 5. Okay. 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 Let me double check what the mall does to you, but in the meantime. Yep. So decision. for the four up for the big dice, made it. And okay. for the swallow dice, I made it. Okay. And he doesn't. The arc mall just only does special things in combat to uh, uh, vehicles. Okay. And uh, then for over here, I'm gonna do my five attacks, face forward. So let's see if I can do anything good. Four hicks. And four wounds, so basically four are dead. All right, uh, let me go over there. Let's see. Oh hell, I'm not piling into you, so I'm just gonna let them get out of close combat the old-fashioned way by dying. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! You're no longer in an inch. Well, and I'm, I'm. I just won't be able to act back, but I'll be able to shoot. Well, I can consolidate three inches, right? Consolidate, no. Pile in. Okay. And I go... Boop! Anyway, now is the time. Well, now they have to be loose upon these guys, right? Yep, but it's going to be plus two. Uh, unless, do you do any negatives with that thing, or no? No. Let's say I lost uh, one, two, three, four guys, right? Well, uh, you also... In this turn. Do you got lose any guys? Yeah, five, I think. From five, because one from earlier, right? So five minus plus, well, seven plus two, nine uh, minus five, so four, right? Yes. Yeah, four. And for those of you who don't know, it's because of the enhanced data tether here and broad spectrum data tether here. I roll under, I'm good. Okay, and I'm guessing they'll swat over that was fine to you? Oh yeah, they're gonna Okay, well, in that case, I'm going to go potty, and you can do your movement. C7 minus 3. Uh... Mason, your movement turn. What did you do? Okay, so right now I'm more going for survival than anything else. So, these guys just kind of piled in a little bit, because for my, uh, canticles. my canticles, I got Litany of the Electromancer. Roll D6 for enemy units within an inch of mine. On a six, they take D3 mortal wounds, which, eh, maybe. And I got Invocation of Machine Might, plus one strength. So, eh, they're still not going to do very well against the Assassins. Yeah. But, eh, they might do a little bit better. I mean, that means that my, over here, my Vanguard Alpha is wounding on twos. Why not, right? Yeah. I just want to see... There's, I'm still experimenting with the army. I might as well try it out. Over here, I swapped where uh, these words, these guys were at, so that the wounded one that was over here is now was over here, so that this uh, tech priest dominus was able to heal him to his maximum automatically, and this priest was able to heal him. It was originally going to be two uh, points plus one, but I used the reroll from the relic, and it did get me the three. So now he's at his top tier. Kind of nice for me. Oh, yeah. Right, and let's see. Uh, yeah. And of course, everybody else basically just stayed where the fuck they're at. All right, now, uh, psychic phase, done. Shooting phase. I'm going to feel like a guardsman. First things first. The wounded will shoot at the rabbit again. Okay. Uh, with the neutron laser. Okay. The stubbers, both stubbers will shoot at the guardsman. So Starvers first. Okay. Uh, he's within distance, so he'll be rerolling. Well, keep in mind it's minus one ahead because of the acid rain. Oh, thank you. So that would normally be hit, but these are all still good. Mm -hmm. uh, so. So three wounds. Three saves on the guardsman so far. Oh wow! Look at that. Good for you. Bad for me. And then it's the neutron laser. D three shots against the rabbit. Three shots against the rabbit. Okay. Oh, wow. Whoop. One that actually wounds, and uh, I don't think you get a save. I only got a wound now. Hmm? You rolled a wound. I just did. The, I got the three shots. Oh, that's right. One. Whoop, whoop, whoop. That sucks. Um, hmm. Do I want to kill the rabbit? That far one will shoot at the sentinel. Okay. Because I 
I, I probably should have done him first anyway. With the neutron laser. Okay. The stubbers will go against the guardsman again. Okay. Guards uh, against the guardsman with stubbers. Uh, Rerolling ones for being within distance. Doesn't matter. <laughs> And one save against, one more save against Guardsman. I'm good. All right, D3 shots, Neutron Laser and the Sentinel. Three shots, uh, two hits, and one wound. Okay. Does he get a save for my P minus four or no? Well. He's normally a three up, minus yeah. four goes to a seven. So D6, so D6, minimum three, six damage. I think that kills him. Yep. Does he go boom? No. I've actually killed big beagles. Anyway, uh, see, so continuing on, I don't want the guardsmen to have that, so I'm going to have these guys. Oh, they're actually are they within 24 of canvas to see them? Because I didn't actually consider that. Oh yeah, I can see. The axe can see them. Are they within 24? Oh yes. So I can actually use his Volkite Blaster. Comes standard on all of them. So with the Volkite Blaster, let's see, heavy three, strength six. So first time, first off, I'm gonna be hitting on two BS2, rerolling ones for himself. Uh, my eight, the Acerine makes it minus one to hit. Mm -hmm. So that saves you from one. Mm -hmm. uh, strength six, winning on two, so this yep. is eight, AP zero. Uh, six is to wound with this weapon, suffers a more wound. Well, one guy is dead. Okay. So, hey, that actually did something. All right, um, can that axe? Yeah, this axe can see the same thing, and he's definitely about the same distance away. Okay. So, heavy three, three shots. Rear only ones for himself. Yep, all good, strength six. So two? Two saves, no modifiers. So two more. Okay. And then after that, uh, yeah, I don't want that squad to survive. We'll shoot both of the, we'll shoot one of these guys into that mm -hmm. and the other into the rabbit. Okay. So small dice are going to be into guardsmen. Okay. Big dice are going to be into the rabbit. Okay. Strength five. Uh, first off, I got a hit on fours mm -hmm. because they're servitors. Well, they, oh, minus one, that's right. So it'll be five. Yeah. So, one hit against the rabbit, and three hits against the guardsman. Okay. Uh, wounding on threes and fives. So, one against the guardsman. One against the rabbit. And when the rabbit is a... Well, for the guardsman, I got a two, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, heavy grab cannon is minus three. D3 damage against the rabbit if you... Failed. Okay, D3 damage, two damage. Two damage, okay. Not great, but not terrible either. It's middle of the road. Yeah. Uh, see, how many guardsmen did I kill so far? Um, you killed other, four. Other than not enough. All right, uh, fighting time, let's go over there. I think you attacked first, right? No, you won. Even though you charged? Yeah. Oh, well, because it's, it's the scene, is it? Okay. Well, do you pile in? I did pile in. And then you will attack first. It's okay. your turn. Uh, first off, we'll do the uh, Litany of the Electromancer on a six. He'll okay. take a... Yep, he takes D3 mortal wounds. Okay. Three mortal wounds. Okay, and... Anything that can defend against that? Slush. No. So he's dead. Okay, well, I'm just going to leave him where they're at. And against him? Okay. Nope. Okay. okay. So I don't have to do any attacks over there. Yay. Over here, I'll do the Arc Malt first. Okay. Two attacks. I'm hitting you on fours. Okay. Two hits. Okay. Um, you are. I'm plus one strength mm -hmm. in addition to the other plus two, so he's gonna be wounding you on twos. Okay. So two so far. One, two, three. I'm five, good. Five, six. Okay. And then six regular guys attacking. They hit on fours, and they will be the right now. Your toughness three and their strength four. Here's the threes. So three more saves. Okay. Should get one or two. Three. Okay, so you got, what, two left? Two left, yes. Okay. I'll put that with this big dice over here. And then his attacks back, or hers. I don't know which one you have them as. Yep, so I'm going to go and do the face sword. They start off, they start off as women and then can go to pretty much anything they want, right? Yeah. 
So, I'm all hicks. Dealer. And now hitting uh wounding on threes. How many? Four. Four Four dead. Oh, that's right, because it just ignores, doesn't it? Yeah, AP minus three, not involved in saves. Okay, good for you, bad for me. Uh, Let's get rid of these. These two, you said three or four? Four. Four. One, two, Mm -hmm. um, three, and let's actually get rid of the plasma cavaliers. Okay, and then... How many guys are left? Three. Do you want to try to run away or no? No, I got hand run, so I can fall back. Oh, in your movement phase. Yep. Okay, I... I, I keep getting confused with the old one. Oh, they're fine. Okay, uh, I think it's make a leadership on them. I don't know what it is. Those from seven. I lost well, four guys, so that is. Three. Oh, well, I'm, try to, do you have points to auto pass? Oh, yeah, I'm going to auto pass. Do I get those points back? I don't. Oh, well. My turn. Okay, so over here, what I did was, well, I played the objective. Uh, moved my guardsmen, deployed the guardsmen from the Chimera. Move the Chimera, healed up the Chimera a little bit with Geo Rigging and the Tech Priest. So, Me. got all that. Then, just for S's and G's, soaring over there for shooting. Uh, I'm gonna shoot my pistol, because you can shoot pistols in close combat. Oh, yeah. Oh, I forgot about my pistol, too. Oh, well. Too late now. It hits. What's the leadership on them? Uh, seven plus that thing, so it'd be eight. Eight? I got 12. No, actually, I got. Just for Eleven. Guess, what would have my pistol have done? It would have hit. It would not have wounded. No, yeah, it would because you're at leadership. My because you're, you're at one toughness. It would have if I actually oh, okay. would shoot it. Anyway, you got D three mortal wounds and look at one mortal wound. Okay, uh, that'll just kill off this guy. And just for giggles, roll the save that you would have had to make if I remembered his pistol. Made it. Oh well. Anyway, so over here with this squad right here, uh, rocket launcher, grenade launcher, none of them. Into the Doom Crawler. Um, oh, into the Wounded? Yeah. Okay. Um, then Lyle's Guns into... Oh, did I mention that he almost got... He, how much he got healed up again? Yeah. <laughs> then... Um, you know what? Actually... All heavy weapons into that thing? Actually, to make this easy, I think, honestly, I did win the game. Oh, yeah. Because if we're going to stop at turn five... Yeah. Then yes. Otherwise, it um, depending on what you destroy, if it were to go another turn... Yeah, or at least go to my... Because if we played a Nelatron, honestly, I think... I'm not sure who would actually get that. Well, think about this, though. I kill these two things off. If then, you can kill those two things off. With all the final power right here? If. And to them? If. That's not assuming... Well, no, he can't really get here. It's about six inches. Yeah, is that even worth the charge? Because I would have to be 18 inches away. It'd be a long shot. It would be a long short, yes. Yeah, then, it wouldn't matter. But then at the same time, I have my covenant commander with a power fist and my Lord of um, He's got a giant axe. Yeah, well, the term of a power actually, weapon. This one could actually move through quite easily. Then he's top, got a giant axe that doesn't. Then, if I really wanted to, I can also type in, toss in my assassin. Uh, he'd, he'd have to fall back, and that's assuming if we were to have another turn. But here's the thing I have, I have hit and run, though, and hit and run will give me. I can go and do that, so. But, I mean, it was still a good game, you know, nonetheless. It was a nice quick game. They actually did a lot better than a lot of the other armies do at the same points. Well, see, I think the thing that really screwed me over, honestly, was that Demolifer. It was a Demolifer that I took, because... It's not the same, uh, you don't really take the Battle Cannon. I usually, for Pask, I take... Or that, uh, the the, Plasma. Yeah, the Executioner. If I took the execution, that would have been a little bit better, but still, strength 10, AP minus 4. Um, Basically what my guns do, but less uh, stable on the damage. Yeah, but I mean, still it was a good game, man. I would say that to you. Um, and with trying a new, a new army for was really the first time, because I don't really count the kill team. Yeah. That's not bad. No, at all. Because this wasn't built to just slay face. This was built to... Hey, what can I do? Yeah. Because this is built from the one pa- the one uh, starter pack that you get nowadays. The one that, uh, Necrons versus um, Admech. Yeah. And the uh, Battle Force. That's really what this is. And then, yeah, I think it's then an extra Doom Crawler, but that's not really it. Well, I'll see you next time, Mason. Let's keep getting our shit painted.
Yeah. Oh, speaking of which, my painting is going to be on a hold for a while just because of things I got going on at work. Well, you got the... pretty much going to be the extent of my painting. I might get a little bit done with some of the, those models right there, possibly an iron strider. Well, not that term, the shooty walker. Yeah. Uh, but that's going to be pretty much the limitations. Otherwise, right now I'm working on a few big projects. And I do mean big projects that work well with that deck. But that'll probably won't be for another two or three months so that I can actually get started painting on them really well. Damn. But, well, I'm going to cut this off right now, so save me a little bit of time and everybody else's time. So, like what I say, get the fit painted, guys.